Hi, I'm Dr. Mel Batson, and this is my story. I've always been really active since I was a child. Um, I did a lot of dance classes and played a lot of sports. I was involved in sports all through middle school and high school. Um, but I had the odd combination of being both a jock and a nerd. So like in high school, I played three varsity sports, but I was also in the top 10% of my class. And so as I went forward in life, and like in college, I still played a few sports, but nothing really competitively. And then in grad school, I played even lesser sports. Um, and it was kind of like the academic section of my life was kind of taking over the movement section. I didn't notice this at that point. It was just like moving forward in my career. Um, and I didn't notice that movement was, was actually dropping out until my last position, which was at one of the top institutes in the country. And it was a great position, and I was learning a lot in the field that I love, but I still wasn't happy, and I couldn't really figure out why, like what, what was missing. Um, and then it kind of dawned on me when I started climbing, and I was like, wow, this is great. I really love climbing. I love moving my body, and it's kind of like struck a little bell, like moving your body. You used to do this all the time, and you barely do it anymore. Um, so I actually made a conscious effort to put more movement into my life, um, climbing, slacklining, just trying to figure out ways to fit movement into the time that I had in my life in my position. Um, unfortunately for me, by that point, I feel like I had developed such a negative association with the, the workplace that I was in uh, that I ended up leaving my job because I was like, okay, so many people that I see are going through this, uh, this feeling that they don't know what's missing from their lives. They're having their seemingly perfect job and house and all, everything's going right, but it's hard to put your finger on what's that missing piece. And for me, that was movement. And I think that for a lot of other people, that it's also movement. And so I actually left that job and started my own company, Movement Ashram, um, where the idea is just to get people moving in any way that they can. Um, and that was, that's my, my story.